let us look at question number 2c of 2019 paper so it says that in regression model it has come for three marks in regression model yi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus ui show that you need to show that the mean of actual yi is equal to mean of estimated yi mean of actual yi is equal to mean of estimated yi let's try to see this thing so so basically this is very very simple to be proved if you try to see this part this part is yi hat right and if you look at this part this is yi so i will start with the expected value of yi and the expected value of yi will be e of beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus ui this will go ahead and give me e of beta 1 plus beta 2 e of xi plus e of ui right this will go ahead and give me beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus expected value of xi you can just put e of xi if you if you if you require so plus expected value of the error term will be zero this is a property we know that the expected value of the error term is zero now what you can go ahead and you can do and there is no need to prove this is just for a three marks question so there is no need to prove that e of ui is zero you can just state that we know that the uh, error term sum or the mean of the error term is zero now what you can do is you can start with y i hat which is going to be beta 1 plus beta 2 x i it's only the deterministic part and you can just say e of y i hat will be e of beta 1 plus beta 2 x i and then you will just get the same thing beta 1 plus beta 2 e of x i so ultimately we have proved that the expected value of the y i hat and the expected value of yi both of them are same thing there are many ways to prove this thing you could have simply written yi is equal to yi hat plus ui and e of yi is equal to e of yi hat plus ui e of yi hat plus e of ui e of yi hat plus zero this also proves the same thing in a very short way that the expected value of yi is equal to expected value of yi hat. Suppose this comes for more marks. This comes as a five marks question, right? Then you need to spend some time on proving why e of ui is zero, right? So you will have to go ahead and you, have, you will have to prove why e of ui is zero. That also will take some of your time right and you need to write those three four lines but if it is coming for two to three marks then this much would suffice there is nothing wrong just give this statement that we know that the expected value of the error term is zero and that should be enough right okay thank you